Okay. In this video, we will discuss about the differences between XY series and untable command in Splunk. Okay. So these two commands are basically inverse of each other. I, I'll show you through examples like what, what, what I mean by inverse. Okay. So if you see here, this is my initial data where I have this tmdb underscore index. So I have mb expand this gener underscore id so that I will get each and every gener id in separate rows. And I rename this to gener underscore id and I, and I then filter out only generates 18, 27 and 99. Okay. And now I'll just table the okay before I before I table that one. So what I wanted to do here is if you see here there is an original language field here. It depicts the language of that particular field. Okay. So I'll just table this too. Okay. Original language and general id okay so what i wanted to do here is create a view which will tell me basically for each and every language for each and every genre what is my count basically basically okay now i can i can use stats count by original language and general id right so it's give me each and every language and general id combination what is the different different counts what is the different different movie counts basically if i go to visualization if you see it does not give me a very good visualization because if you see it just printing out as a column chart for each and every row so suppose for english 18 english 27 and English 99 combination it gives me three different one in the x-axis okay so it is not a very compact view okay so so to fix this one we Splunk provides a command called XY series okay what it does it basically transforms this whole data set the output of stats to a view so that we can chart it in better way okay so that means the, our search view or the visualization will be x axis wise we will have our language y axis wise we will have our general ids and then we'll show the count in the chart okay so x y series requires two dimensions one is x dimension i will give original language original language okay and then the y dimension i will give journal underscore id okay and my data to be displayed in the graph and that is my this count value okay so if you see here x y series does not do any kind of computation it does it just take the output of a stats and it transforms into a better search view a better uh, result view if i run this query if you see here for each and every language it creates a separate separate columns for each and every genre and then it just for each and every language and genre combination it it's just push that count over there okay if you if you remember from my previous video i have discussed this operator right mm, this curly braces operator right so it also do the same thing but xy series requires more than one dimension to do it curly braces you can work on the single dimensions as well okay now if i go to visualization if you see it's giving me now very compact view for english it created three bars for each and every genres okay so now the view is view is really compact even if you want general wise your x-axis what you need to do is just give the journal id as a first argument so that it will be the argument for x-axis then original language then count okay 
So if you see now for genre 18, what are the different languages we have uh, movie count? It is showing me the one place only. Okay. So for this video, I will move to that view only language wise genre count. Okay. I'm going to statistics. So this is how XY series works. Now I'm going back to the XY series versus untable command. Untable command, what it does, it reverses the effect of XY series. That means if you have data like this, like you have some dimension and you have other dimensions presented as a columns and you have some correlation between this dimension and these dimensions then you can reverse the effect and it will just give you a view of the stats output okay so to do that what i'll do i'll create a duplicate here okay and i'll keep my stats output this okay so what i'm saying here if i give untable okay then the same thing original language genre id and count that means i am having some kind of correlation between this original language and genre id and it will give me the count based on these two okay so if i run this one so if you see this output is very similar to the, this output of stats where it has basically taken up okay let me add this xy series here so that i can at least explain what untable is doing so basically what it is doing for each and every language and each and every this column general id combination it is taking the count and it is giving you that count over here as a single row okay so if you see here it also moves those columns to the rows here as well so each and every language general id combination it's giving you count okay so if i give x y series again now on this untable output what it will do it will again move this languages it will keep these languages as my x axis and y axis value it, is, it will move to separate separate columns and and the corresponding counts it will it will it will paste it over there so that's why untable and x y series are basically inverse of each other so whenever you have untable function if you use xy series it will remove the effect of un untable command and whenever you have xy series and you use untable command it will again give you back to the output of the previous stats commands from where you have applied xy series to generate a different view okay see you in next video